All right, so we're going to go ahead and get a hex number, and I'm not going to go crazy and get a whole MAC address or nothing like that. Anybody who does that makes you take a MAC address or something that crazy and then convert it, and then they tell you what's the decimal. You tell them, look, you figure that out, okay? I, you know, there's no need for that. That's why you have calculators. But if you go take a test, and again, this is not going to be on your test. This is just something in the book that I need to show you how to do. That's all it is. Very simple. So I'm going to look at my hex table. Where, where is it? It's over here. I'm going to look at my hex table. So I'll do a combination of two things. Because remember, uh, it's a combination of numbers or a combination of letters. Okay? Numbers and letters. All right. So let's pick, let's say, I don't know. Let's do uh, E6. But let's do it in separate cells. E and then 6. All right? So E6, and let's center it. Let's make it look nice. You guys can see that. So that's my... Hex number there, E6. Now remember, each hexadecimal number is four bits long. Each hexadecimal number is four bits long. So the E and their values, remember, they only go to 15. So it's 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay? And the same thing for 6. 8, 4, 2, 1. So those are their so-called bit values. And we'll go ahead and... We're just going to center a bunch of little lines here. We just center everything here. All right. So now what you do is you go ahead and add the bits that are on. So you take a look at E. E is equal to 14. So what bit values must be on underneath the E to come up with the number 14? Well, 8 plus 2 is 10, and 1 is 14. So I know that 8... 4 and 2, and then 0. So those 3 are on and 1 is off. That creates 14, which is equal to E. And then the 6 is the 4 and the 2. So we have 0, 1, 1, 0. Right? And let me go ahead and format the cell so it will put 4 characters. So we can see the 0. Format cell. We'll do custom. And is it a custom or a special? No, it's a custom. There you go. And I want four places. There we go. Oh, all right. And there's your binary number. You just put it together. So I'm going to merge these two cells. Well, we'll put them up here. So you take that one, 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 zero. 0, 1, 1, 0. All right? You put those together. That creates your binary value for that particular hex number, E6. So then you go to that bit value table and you add. Well, what does three consecutive bits on mean? 224. 224. And then you have the 4. So 224 plus 4 is 228. Then you have two more. Well, what's 228 plus 2? 230. So the decimal, and we'll put it down here, 230, and we'll put decimal here. And that's it. No big deal. So E6, all right, now this is not going to be the only example. But E6 in hex is 1110011110 in binary. And then we take that binary and we add the bits that are on and it comes out to 230 and verify the math. Okay? And I'm using it and making it simple because three consecutive bits on gives me a 224. And then I just add the 8, right? 224 um, and 4 is 228. 228 plus 2 is 230. Comes up with that decimal, okay? Simple as that. Simple as that. Now, I'm going to show you another example, all right? But this time it's going to be two numbers. Two numbers, all right? They're going to be hex, but they're going to be two numbers. So I'm going to get rid of this. So if you need to look at this example again, what do you need to do? Pause, rewind, put it again. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this. But 
this time, I'm going to say 0x5, and then I'm going to separate that and put 4, right, which is really 0x54. I'm putting it into different cells so I can go ahead and put their binary bits underneath or their bit values underneath. 0x, if you were to see a number 54, 54, right, you would just think it's a decimal. So 0x is an identifier of a hexadecimal number. So if you're looking at a number and you see 0x in front of it, you know that's hex. And where do you confront something like that? Let me show you right here. Now I'm not going to convert these numbers I'm about to do, but I'm going to show you where you would see numbers that you use, hopefully not on a daily basis, but you'll use them throughout the course, which is 0x2102. 0x 2142. These two numbers right here are register settings in the router, in the iOS. Okay, you change this to manipulate how the router is going to allow you either 2102, which is the default, hey, look at MVRAM, let me in, or 2142, bypass MVRAM and just let me in the router. All right, so these are hexadecimal numbers. And how do you know they're hex? because they have that identifier of 0x, 0x. So don't let the 0x confuse you. All that is to let you know that that's a hex number, okay? So let's keep that in mind. So I really don't care about the 0x. It's just letting me know, hey, that's a hex number. So we put the bit value for 5. We put the bit values, 8421, 8421. So what bit values do I need to turn on to get 5? 4 and 1, right? So 8 is 0, 4 is 1, 2 is 0, 1 is 1, 4 and 1 is 5. So how about 4? Just 4. So 0 is 8, 4 is 1, 2 is 0, 1 is 0. So there we go. Oh, let me format. No, I'm going to use the format painter. I'll make life easy for myself. There you go. All right, so now I'm going to get these. I'm going to go... Get my binary, right? Because binary is the middle ground. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So there is your binary, because you took both 4-bit chunks, put them together, creates an 8-bit, which it's a byte, right? Creates a character. So now we have 64 that's on. 16, so what's 64 plus 16? That's 80. Then you have 80 plus 4, that's 84. So your decimal is 84. Decimal. I'll get out of the way in a second so you guys can see it. All right, so 84 is your decimal. And the way I got that, 64. And 16, that's 80. 80 plus 4, that's 84. Why those? Because when I took the binary bits for each one, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, I put them together. That became the binary. Now, I took the binary bits, added the ones that were on, and gave me the decimal number. All right? But always verify. Have your calculator up to make sure to verify. Do it manually, and then you can verify with your calculator. So this is all it takes to convert from hex to binary to decimal quickly. And I always have this thing of you know converting any you know any hex number decimal number under 30 seconds, and that's cool. And the reason I want you to do that because if for whatever reason they ask you to convert a number which they won't, okay, but let's say they do. You should be able to do it quickly, all right? And some numbers are just, you should just know. Like, let's say I'm just going to put it right here. FF. You know that FF, it's all on. So that means there will be all ones, right? All ones on the first F, all ones on the last F. So if they're all ones, that's 255. You see? So there's certain numbers that you should already know just off the top of your head, okay? But again, this is converting from a hex to binary 
to decimal. Now what we're going to do in this next lesson is convert from a decimal to binary then to hex. Because remember, binary is always your middle ground. See you in the next lesson.